Hi, and welcome to the pie chart customization tutorial. Let's get started by going to our project panel. Go to the All Graphs folder. Go to our pie chart with data inside. Twirl that down. Double click on the pie chart with data inside render composition. We open this up. Uh, this is the composition that you would render out if you wanted just to render this one chart. And this is also the render the composition that you would use if you were making like a new preview. You would drag this into your new preview comp. So you can see we have a camera and this is just kind of rotating around making these layers move. This is a text layer. We have our two main text layers that can be edited in this composition. So you just double click on any of those and it's kind of hard to see, but they are, it is highlighted. You can edit your text. there. You can change your color, your font, and your uh, text size here in the character panel. We also have the all caps option selected. Uh, you can click that off and it will revert, the text will revert back to your original formatting. And these two text layers actually have a drop shadow layer style applied. So if you um, click down into layer styles and to drop shadow, you can change the color here. Um, and any of those other drop shadow parameters as well. We have two pie chart settings compositions. These are actually pre-comps. And we'll open up these comps to show you how to edit your pie chart with its data. Um, but right now, we're just showing you how this is animated. So the pie chart plays through. And then we have another pie chart layer that is time reversed. So it looks like it's sort of animating backwards because it is, it's going in reverse order and it just helps with to transition out of this uh, animation. So now let's customize our data on our pie chart. If we double click to open the pie chart with data inside settings and let's scrub down our timeline here. There we go. So you can see our first layer is our color palette. This is a guide layer, so it doesn't show up in any other composition. It's just here to give you a palette to work with if you if you have one to work with so that your colors are consistent throughout your project. Our next layer is our pie chart controls and we have a prefix and a suffix uh, selection for each of our text layers. Turn one on, turn one off. And uh, the positions might be a little strange on some of these. All you need to do is just select them and then you might need to modify them just a little bit. This particular composition might run a little bit slow because there are a lot of layers and there are a lot of expressions. Back to our pie chart controls. Go to our effects controls panel. You can edit your data here, um, actually in the timeline. So hit U on your keyboard with the pie chart controls selected and you'll see on each pie data slider control, we have two sets of keyframes. You're going to double click on the second uh, keyframe. And we have a, a pop-up box and you can enter your new value. And remember this is a pie chart, so all the values need to equal 100 um, if you want a complete chart. I've seen some pie charts recently, they don't have the complete you can leave a gap in there. I guess that's a new thing. I don't know. I've seen that in some infographics. So if, if that's what you want to do, you absolutely can. This is your, your template. So let's say that's five. And the reason why there is a big gap right here is because we only have six slices turned on. So if we turn on slice number seven, there that is, we can turn on eight and we can keep going with that. You can also change the scale of each pie slice. So if you wanted to make an adjustment there, you can do that. Of course, you'll need to adjust these uh, prefix and suffix uh, layers a little bit too. If you go to our color controls, we can change our pie text and number color. So the inside colors can be different. You can change the sizes. There we go. 
And of course you can change the pie colors and our data text layers, um, their colors also correspond to their slices, their respective slices. So if you go to our color controls and you change your pie color, number one to something else, you'll see the pie slice and the data um, text are changed and you can actually customize that data text. Thinking about food. So let's type food. 